All right, guys, they're playing some Akali top lane into a Teemo. And what we have for this game is Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball, Ultimate Hunter. Then we're also running Presence, and then we're also running Tenacity. This game, I'm going with a uh, Burst build. I'm thinking about like Rocket build into more specific items like Zhania, Rabidans. We're also into like the perfect matchup for that because Akali into Teemo is just perfect because... You know, we could basically just walk inside Teemo range, go into Shroud, hit the full combo, and then either either like we go in or we go out. Um, only thing is that there is, of course, a chance we might get poked a lot. But we just have to go into respect the uh, the Teemo auto range. That's pretty much all. Let's see if we can uh, put some autos in the wave here. Maybe get the level 2. Nice. Not bad. Yeah, that's something that will happen though. Like, Teemo can actually kit Q and then blind my auto, my empowered auto. So that's something that um, we're going to be struggling with a little bit. But aside from that, like, we should have a good time. Wars are messy. My hmm. are clean. Nice Q. He can't really go for me. Oh, nice one. Hmm, we got Shavana like pathing top side. Oh, yeah, there goes the other Q again. Well, not bad. I think we. I think, however. Um, <clears throat> there's a possibility we could be ganked right now. Wait, we gotta pay close attention to what's gonna happen to the river. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. A Malzahar rotating top lane to try and gank from the lane. What? Is that they lane swap? Are they lane swapping? Really? I mean, what? <laughs> okay, trying to make kills Teemo like once and they instantly lane swap. That surprises me. Well, we're gonna have to figure something out. This is gonna be a very annoying lane phase for sure. Let's see if we can shove this a little bit. The, the, the monster already has items, which is gonna be a tro big trouble for me. He walks away. Hmm. I don't know. I uh, do not have TP this game, so it's going to be very, very difficult for me to find a way to reset unless I backward now. I'll see if I can shove this one. Need a bit more. Yeah, let's go for that reset. This is the best time to do it. Okay. Um, first things first, I'm going to build myself Sorcerer Shoes. Let's go. I'm going to have to get like some ganks. I'm going to have to. Let's see, he's got level 6. Sure. <laughs> Teemo is like lane swapping to mid lane, starts feeding as well. Should be getting quite fed now. There's not much I can do into this guy. Like, I will get perma shelved. His wave clear is like 10 times better than mine. 
cold steel and a target are all I need. Still miss it. Okay, let's take a look. No monster up there. I think it might show up here. Magic's fine. Steel's better. Pushing this out is going to be nearly impossible to do, so I'm, I'm not even bothered. I'm just dragging the wave. Seems like we're probably getting a gang. Skill and steel will get the job done. Did I really miss that one? Wow. Ah. Oh. That guy's level 5. Could auto it. He will get level 6 here, I think. That's cute. Okay, let's get that reset. We, uh, we got the kill, so I'm pretty happy. Specifically building that one, then this one. An enemy has been slain. Well, I mean, I'm I'm not surprised that Teemo starts feeding lane phase into a trend mirror, to be honest, because Malsar previously died into a trend, and then Teemo lanes fall back to mid lane as well. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me, to be honest with you. An enemy has been slain. Also, I can wave clear down the uh, the things from Monster quite easily uh, with my Q. No, that's the first blade we're missing. Well, at least we can farm. Got it. I don't know, like. Very little opportunities right now to fight him, unless we. Uh, the, the only way for us to approach him is um, is when we get like an E off on him. We can actually burst it by myself. But we gotta remain at like full HP as well. The perma shows, then just walks away. There's not much I can do. It's so boring. At least for now. There's really nothing to do. Just perma shove and walk away. I'm pretty sure he's gonna walk away. Yeah. He ends up walking away again. Yeah, he's gonna do this again. Like. Hmm. Yep. There he comes again. Spawns it. Okay. And then he will do it again. Same process, on repeat. Oh. Well, I flash R and then he actually flashed away too. Alright. Not bad. They can't stop me. I mean, they can try. I'm actually kind of glad we got him. Like, that's the only way for me to win lane. Just go in, literally. Only option I have this game. Actually, worked quite well. We actually managed to just burst him right away. Uh, let's go for blue trinket. Might need to get like one gank, possibly. Might have to. Like so far this game is not going that bad, man. It's going pretty well. The only problem is that he keeps on like farming plates. I can prevent him from farming plates here. He will get more. Everyone dies. I just 
speed things up. Nice. I think he's up there. Oh. Yeah, I think we can catch him. It depends. Seems like he doesn't know. <laughs> the life of boss are man. Push, walk away. Push, walk away. You push and you walk away. <laughs> Is literally what he does all day. I make uh, we get a shove on the top side. Oh, does not go for the gank. Okay. We got one more potion, so if he does poke me once, if it, if it goes through, if it gets on me, I can at least cast it. Still be full HP. And he's gonna push and walk away. Yeah. And then he's gonna push again. Yeah. Ah, oh, man, I wanna approach him, but I got no lane. He's not looking for fights ever. Let him see me. Nice. All right. And then we shove. Well, we can uh, basically buy my item. I just need to get like one plate. And then Master Yi comes in. I need that plate, man. I need it. Yep, I got it. Cool. There's also a uh, Chunmi on the way. That guy's gonna die. Sure. I think that Malsar might walk back in here. Oh, he's going to keep on chasing. Really? Ah, I'm probably dead. The old ways just don't work. Shut down. I don't know. I was thinking about using my potion, but I think I would have died anyway. Maybe I could have tried, but... Nah. It's okay. Timo gets it. It's fine. I should just cast my potion. Try it out. I think that would have made maybe the difference of like two. No, 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 not two. Like more like one auto. Okay. So we finally have rocket belt, which means that if we try and approach Malzor right now, we should be able to all in him without any problems because. Using this item properly, we can, you know, get outside of that, you know, the thing he throws, the the, the field. If, if we get out of that before he ults, you will never have enough damage to beat me. So if we all in him, directly use Rocket Belt or we use Rocket Belt to engage. It depends. We can outplay this guy very hard right now. Wait, let me drag the wave a little bit. There you go. Could have like maybe considered like a like a dark seal at some point. Would have fit this game pretty well actually. I'm gonna try it out. Maybe I can kill this guy. Yeah, there it is again. See you later, buddy. 
Does he have flash? I guess he does. Yep. Does not have flash. Okay. We got him. Cool. Let's get back. Thankfully, we got that master here. We will buy, uh, we will buy the Codex, that's for sure. I want to have some, uh, you know, a little bit more ability haste. Better for my combos. Then we will get Seeker's Arm Guard afterwards. I don't need to prioritize the Seeker's Arm Guard because Master Yi doesn't seem fed. This guy has, like, no kills. So I'm not really prioritizing it. Uh, Javon is already looking to kill the Malzar, so let's see if we can do something else. That was fun. <laughs> Got bursted instantly. Alright, sure. Okay. Skill and steel will get the job done. An enemy and let's go. Hey, by the way, Eliminator, thank you for the resub two months, man. Welcome back, Eliminator. Thank you so much, dude. Let's re-attempt trying to kill this Malzar. No we will retry. Masters. I'm not scared about dying against him. He's uh, he's quite fed though. He's got Langes already. I should kind of like regret this game not buying uh, buying a Dark Seal. We can still buy it, but I I don't want to. Upgrade to Magi without having any stacks. Master is bar lane. Nice, good to know. Got it. This guy shouldn't show himself, otherwise Malsif does not walk up to him, uh, walk up anymore. Yep, and then he walks away again. This, uh, this guy is not really playing the lane ever. He's not ever looking to go for fights. He's just pushing and then he's like standing at his tower. As you can see. You see? <laughs> standing like right next to his tower. Alright. Good luck, have fun standing there. It's about who's doing the dying. I got my support up here. Drake is. Wait a second. Can't really go for the fight with Drake if Tran is dead. Good catch. And then we go back top again. Again, like, Malzar is just playing the pushing game. I don't know if he's going to try and, and get the tower right now. We'll see. I still have my entire full combo ready. Oh. Well. Yeah, there it is. I couldn't even, <laughs> couldn't even press my ult, but I still got it. An ally has been slain. Oh, we have to walk out. We're about to die. An enemy has been slain. There you go. Enemy killing so, let's go for Zonia. And after Zonia, we're going to go for Rabidans. Restraints not really my thing. And then after Rabidans, we will probably go uh, for, you know, maybe Shadow Flame and Void Staff. But I think Void Staff after Rabidans. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that actually worked out. All right, sure. <laughs> You're just jumping the entire mid lane. Nice. Actually, the team we didn't die. All right, man. I got the other two targets. I'm like, I'm actually surprised on how much damage this monster is doing, Gestrin. Because when I jump in myself, this this guy is not doing as much damage as we were seeing here. Like the trick to to tanking Malsahar is just to get out of this field that he throws before he ults. I'll make this look like magic. Yeah, let's go back top, or we try and fight this one. All right. Balanced. Very balanced. Master Yi is in bot lane, so I think we can uh, we can get another one. Depends on how fast we are. Shindomir is on the camp. Ah, uh, yeah, they've already made their return. I don't really want to like split as Akali currently because the wave clear like it's not as great. To be honest, I can uh, I can hit my Q throughout the entire wave, but I'll have to use like the entire energy bar for this. I don't want to split too much this game. I actually want Trinimir to do it for me. I'll take this one for now. But, like splitting on a Kali is something that is just extremely hard to do because the the wave clear just sucks. To be honest. If we cancel their backports right now, then Trinmir can just take the entire base down. Yeah, there you go. They're dead for like 30 seconds, so let's just walk up there. If he can kill Master Yi right now... Yeah, 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 there it is. They're dead for like uh, 15 seconds. Let's go. I think we can get towers right now. They're still dead for like 12 seconds. Oh, maybe nothing. We can still get these ones. Yep. I, uh, I think we can probably get more. We got Shafana with ultimate. Nah, never mind. A Drake spawns in 40. So we're going to get that next. Oh, wait a second. I got him. Ten HP. <laughs> oh man, the damage. All right. I think that Trinmir can walk up to the base. Yeah, he can walk up to the base right now. Look. <laughs> All right, sure. I wanted to get Rabbitons like so badly, but I, I think I'm just gonna go for Shadow Flame for now. Get red as a fourth item. Nice try. We need to get the Drake. Okay, that one was messy. Mastery is dead. MF could be walking towards Drake. Yep, they're they're trying to walk towards it. We already see Falco's moving up here. Oh yeah, 
like as it turns out. MF's already up there. We can kill her very easily. Not much else I can do. Yep, only one catch. I still had my ultimate. Hmm. I guess we're about to lose Baron. Well, not really. Like turning me up right now, but let's see. That's so sad, man. If if I could get my E, I, I think I could have actually won the team fight and still be alive, by the way, because I was jumping in with E here, trying to do like an auto QR. I couldn't hit my R, but if I hit E R immediately, I think it would be completely different. I actually think I would be alive because I also had my shroud coming up. I just had to outplay them, make my jump like this direction. If you watch their back, you will see. Like, that was actually perfectly outplayable, right there. I was just warming up. I think we can just run mid, to be honest. You will not stop me. Oh, mid is R. Oh, she sees it. Yep. <laughs> All right, I'm useless right now. Man, the gem doesn't heal that much. Hmm. Nobody's here. Yeah, this game is decided. Yep. <laughs> I did a lot of stuff in this team fight, man. You saw my damage? Am I clear? Whew. Combos too clean, man. <clears throat> I got carried last fight. Like, I did nothing at all. Hey, this is uh, Akali Toppling. Thanks so much for watching today's stupid. And we'll see you next time. Peace.